Honored guests, dear delegates. First of all, I would wish echo congratulations with the first 25 years. It's great to see that the child has grown and being strong. And my memory is getting weaker. So I had to, only a few notes about the first years, and you had to remember it's 25 years ago. So I attended the first time as IATA, representative of the meeting in Bern in June 91. IATA was well received, even without have been um, involved in the first two meetings. It was an inspiring meeting with high hopes and belief that was becoming something great for conservators restorers in Europe. We all had a good feeling from this meeting. It was here decided to establish ECHO and make a project of designing the statutes. The hope, we say in Danish, the hope is green. So we was <coughs> very excited. In October 91 was the last editorial status made. There were at that time five French, three English, two Germans, one from each of the following countries, Belgium, Italy, Switzerland, and the ADA was still as international organization I was lucky to represent. You had to remember at that time we only have, we don't have emails. So if we should communicate, we had to send fax. So it took a little longer time. And the quality was something so bad, so it was, could be difficult to read. So the day after, we have the official echo reality. The first board and committee was elected with me as president, Karl Faldemeyer and Natalie Ravenel as vice president, and Pierre Masson as general secretary. Um, Pierre Masson and his wife, Sandra, worked at that time at the EU Commission. So Sandra has drawn on the many connections there, and the meeting was therefore organized in the European Economic and Social Committee. It was a great help to be there and to draw on their knowledge with translation and which made communication much easier for all of us. I forgot to... My images has nothing to do with what I talk about. It's just some memory images I found in piles of photographs at home. So that is from um, the first meetings we have. Special one person had made extremely work for ECHO to get us up to a higher level of success. And I am sorry that he is not here today. It was Pierre Masson who was later president also. It was a diverse group of members of several organizations. Due to the different forms of education at that time in European countries, it gave some good discussions about members of various associations. Several of the associations had members who did not fully meet the criteria of membership on the new association. One can uh, say that we spoke about white, gray, and black sheep. <laughs> it was agreed that, only count, that we only count members who were in the different associations. So we uh, made a little agreement that was special with uh, ADR was very great discussions because they had uh, this Grabungstechnik, which was a very hot topic, even they had begun to make an education on this specific topic. Um, 
the associations could still have associate members. I had the option. Op um, I had the, uh, the thinking that the problem would receive, resolve itself over a short time during to the member's age. So the members who not have the full education will die out within relative few years. So if we want to make an organization, I had the feeling we need to make some political resolutions and make some of the black sheep with, because if not, then we could not adopt all the organizations. We also agreed on a system to count um, votes, so that made the bigger association basically not could over outvote smaller organizations. So we had to discuss because in the area, we have 700 members at that time. RDR has much more. I think they have 1,500, 1,600 members at that time. And some of the small French associations had 20, 10 to 12 members. So to be sure that RDR and ERD are not could throw down the, the small, we had to find a system how to count uh, votes. I think it was a more democratic and solidarity electoral system. In January 1992, ECHO participated in the same exhibition in Paris. Here we introduced ECHO to the public at a booth on the exhibition. ECHO also hosted, hosted a symposium that again was based on the profession. This week was also used to many exciting meetings, great discussions. All ECHO board members who had the opportunity to attend participated. There was this formal and not at least informal meetings with very long discussions. There was a lot of work with some preparations because we perhaps not all agreed on what should be done. The Great Watt had the effect so we could be clear on our position, position regarding to the many serious questions. The work up to and the Paris meeting was thankfully fruitful for the association ECHO could have the presentation, a unit, European image with high professional standard and ethics. Oop. We had some suggestions for the short time task. The most important was first to call ourselves a professional organization. Had to act with one voice. This means that we had to organize a way so that all the member organizations need to have a quick and direct communication between members. It could be done by telephone or fax and we had to be very strict on setting deadlines, especially when you don't have the emails but you have the facts. It was so important to put on deadlines. Second, set up a secretary in Brussels to communicate and gather, gather uh, documents. It started as a halfway job per week. And finally, as a third, so we had to find a definition, conservator resort. This was important because it needed the right number of ordinary individual member organizations, both for voting and for payment of the membership fee. There were also the more long-term goals which included code of ethics, working groups with training and legal protection of the profession, an echo uh, publication, lobbying and publicity, external funding. It was a big project has put out in action. Echo had ambitions 
habit and ambitions committee members, and much of this which was initiated at that time, we now can see, has become something in the past 25 years. We also have some food between us. You know, if you have some fights, it also helps with uh, having a little food and uh, parties. It helps a lot. <laughs> <coughs> At February, the 12th, uh, 1993, was a very good day for ECHO. It was the first time where it was succeed for Pierre Masson and Nathalie Ravanel, who had the contacts with the Italian member of the commission, Laroni, to get movable heritage inside the ECHO, uh, inside the EU system. So they began to recognize that it was not only unmovable, but we also have movable heritage. I think when we're thinking on ECHO only was two years old at that time, I think it was a little scoop that these two persons had a contact to the Italian guy who had the powder to put it inside. A little hidden perhaps, but uh, put it inside the documents. At the General Assembly, 93, we adopt professional guidelines, part one to two, which is the foundation for the definition of our profession. From my point of view, a very important document which I thought was quick written, thanks to the great efforts of, this, of those which was involved in the working group. One last important thing I want to mention is the ECHO Congress held in Florence, 97, entitled The Conservative Restores Professional Activity and Status and its Responsibility Towards the Cultural Heritage. I visually it was a very exciting and ideal full conference. The participants were all committed, and we had a wide range of interesting presentations. The conference was pleased to the release of a 237-page publication. For me, it has been an exciting journey to help being with the beginning of this organization and later following it, the association succeed on the sidelines. Thank you. And I wish, and I wish Ego and I a good 25 years, but I will not be able to participate in that.